Corey White here, and I thought I'd take a look at showing you how to do your own adaptive presets. And if you're wondering what adaptive presets are, they're presets, like anything else in Lightroom, that allow you to set various values of how you want, like, for example, the temperature or the, the uh, sky or the color tone to look on, in an image, but it also combines it with the AI masking capabilities of Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. So I'm going to be demonstrating this in Lightroom Classic. You can do the same thing in Lightroom Desktop. Uh, rather than just show it twice, I'm just going to do it here in Lightroom Classic. All right, so I've got Lightroom Classic open, and I've got one of my, uh, or one actually is from Adobe Stock. This is a landscape image with a lot of snow and water. Now, the sky is beautiful. I love the sky. But what I'm not liking is the snow has kind of a blue cast to it. If the sky were blue, I could understand that be a reflection, but it's just a little over blue for my taste. And also the water just looks kind of dull. It doesn't have a color at all um, in this image. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to create a, a preset that will always make the snow white or um, warm it a little bit and also make the water blue. Even if it's a little over the top, I just love blue water. All right, so you've got, uh, several adaptive presets that are already here for you. So for example, if I would just click on this uh, section here for seasons, winter, I will go and twirl that down. It's got some regular presets. Now these are just regular presets that affect the entire image, but you'll notice that there's an adaptive category. So adaptive portrait, adaptive sky, adaptive subject, landscape, blur background, deep skin, Sorry, I went too far. So portrait, sky, subject, landscape, and blur background. So if I were to go to landscape, because that's what this is, and I were to pick winter, it will make an adaptive preset. And then you see it's detecting the image right now. It's looking at the image and seeing in that preset what it could apply. So I immediately saw the sky get different. And if I hover off of it again, the sky was definitely different and the snow is different. Now it's not my white snow that I want, but it is different. If I go to winter two, same thing. It's just slightly different from winter one, winter one, winter two. And these are the built-in adaptive presets that come with Lightroom. We want to make our own. Like those are okay for what, whatever, whoever made those to give you as a way to try this and just click on a preset to adjust your image. But we want to adjust it our way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in first and go to the development or develop module, which I'm in. And I'm going to go to masking. And when I go to masking, there is a landscape category. When I click on that, it will look at your image. And if it sees various categories in your image that it knows, it'll present them here. So it sees a sky. It sees mountains, even though that little one on the bottom left is not necessarily a mountain. It sees vegetation. It sees water. And it sees snow. Snow is, is new. Um, now, it does not see, land, it does not see ground. It does not see artificial ground in this image. It also doesn't see architecture in this image. But those are three additional categories, if your image has them, that it will automatically mask, or at least try to. So in my case, I want two things. I want water and I want snow. You can check off as many as you want. And you can either make one mask that combines both of those, which I wouldn't recommend because you usually don't want to adjust both of those exactly the same. Or you can create separate masks, which is what I want. So I want to create a water mask. I want to create a snow mask. And I'm just going to go ahead and click create. And that will give you your two masks in the masking panel. So now I'm going to go to the snow mask, which is the one I'm already on. And I'm just going to go ahead and say that I want to do two things. I want to warm up the snow. So as soon as I start making an adjustment to the slider, you can start to see it's affecting just the snow. So that shows you how good your mask is. You can always go in and edit if you don't like it. But that's an adaptive wouldn't necessarily... That would make sense. But so we want it to always automatically figure out what the snow is. So I'm going to go ahead and just, again, this is where we were. Snow's too blue. I'm going to go ahead and cool off that snow a little bit. Now that cooled off the temperature, but it's still kind of dark. So I'm going to go to exposure and just bump up the exposure a little bit. Now it's probably a little bit more than I would want to do since this looks like it's about to be sunset or sunrise. I can't tell, but it's about to be sun something. And it's probably too bright for that time of day. Um, but just to make it so you can see what I'm doing, I'm just going to exaggerate it a little bit. So now I've made my two adjustments. I'm sorry, I made my one adjustment, two adjustments to the snow, one mask. Now let's go to water, where I'm going to make my second set of adjustments. So I found the water in this image, and I'm just going to do the opposite. I'm going to cool off the water, 
to make it more blue. And again, I'm going to exaggerate. I'm going to make it really blue so you can see it. Now, I wouldn't go that far. I'd probably come in right about there, but I'm going to make it a little bluer just so we can see the difference. So now I've made my adjustments on what water and snow should be for this adaptive preset. Now we just go build it. So I'm going to go over to the plus sign for presets, click it, and click Create Preset. So now normally you would have a bunch of stuff checked. In this case, it's checking the process version. What, whatever's checked is irrelevant because you don't want it to make changes to all this other stuff. You really only care about these, the masking. So I'm going to say check none. I always just immediately check none, uncheck everything. Let me decide what I want this preset to contain. And I really just wanted to contain the two masks, water and snow. That's it. Don't change the white balance for the rest of the image. Don't do anything to the shadows, highlights. Don't do anything for removing reflections or people or dust. Don't do any of that stuff. Just do those two masks. Then we get and give it a name. I'm going to say that this is my white snow and blue water, blue water adaptive preset. So I'm making my own adaptive preset. Now you're going to understand what adaptive means in just a minute. So I'll click create. And there it is in my list for me to use from now on. I can use this forever. Now, when I go to my next image, which has not had anything done to it, same problem, blue snow, because that's a blue sky. So that kind of makes sense. But also the water's kind of blue, because again, it's getting that reflection from the sky. So the water I don't have a problem with, but definitely the snow needs to be adjusted. So instead of me having to manually go in and click landscape again, click snow again, click water again, and make those same adjustments, I'm just going to, when I hover over white snow and blue water, it will detect the snow in this image and the water in this image and show me what I'm going to get even before I click on it. So if I go ahead and click, yes, do those two things, it will create those same masks uh, for water and snow in this image that it created in the other one, and it will apply them. Now, you also, just so you get a heads up, you get a slider for your adaptive presets because some images may not need as much of an adjustment as the one you did previously when you created it. So you can pull back on the amount slider. You can say, no, 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 that's a little too much. Or maybe it needs more, you can go higher. But in this case, I'm not necessarily wanting to pull back. What I'm wanting to do is maybe the water doesn't need to be that blue. So I can go to water and I can go and see the temperature adjustment and I can pull back on it. So if I even want to affect any attribute that I made as part of the adaptive preset, I still have manual control over it after the fact. And that's what makes adaptive presets so great. So same thing here, we got water, we got blue snow, <laughs> let's see a theme here. I'm gonna click my preset and I'll give it a second. It was, it's now figuring out what it needs to do to do it. Instead of me just hovering. Great, except my trees have a halo now because it's too strong for this image. So again, I'm just gonna pull back. There we go. And I can still go in if I want to adjust the snow. And if I want to adjust the exposure, I can adjust the exposure. Oh, there we go. Yep, I can adjust the exposure of the snow and it will adjust the exposure of the snow. So again, because I see snow in those trees, I'm just looking at it to make sure I don't get those halos again. Uh, but in the same thing, if you want to do something else while you've got the snow selected, you can adjust the contrast, you can adjust the temperature, you can adjust any of those things for the snow because the snow is selected. And again, keep it in mind where the amount slider is. So that is how adaptive presets work. You create them and then they're automatically detecting those same things in your image, those same masks, and then applying those amounts to them. Now, that's why I like adaptive presets. For example, maybe I don't like the sky. Well, here are the adaptive presets that come with Lightroom. So there's blue drama, there's dark drama, there's blue pop, there's blue hour, there's golden hour. Look at what it did to the clouds. They're blue, now they're golden. Uh, neon tropics, storm clouds, and sunrise. And most of these are all too strong for this. But let's say I click sunrise. Again, I get that amount slider. I can pull it back a little bit. And I can apply multiple adaptive presets. And they don't cancel each other out as long as they're different masks. So now I got, a, I got a sunrise mask, which is basically the sky. I got a water mask and a snow mask in this image, 
over here on the right-hand side because these are separate masks. Now, if, if my adaptive preset had snow, I'm sorry, had a sky in it already, this new adaptive preset would override my sky setting because it, you can only have one sky mask and one snow mask and so forth and so on. So that is quickly how adaptive presets work and more importantly, how to create your own. So go play with that, have fun, and you can use adaptive presets on Lightroom Desktop as well, as well as um, they appear in Lightroom Mobile. They sync to Lightroom Mobile. So if you create them in Lightroom Desktop, they'll be on your phone and your iPad. If you copy these and pay, put them in a certain spot, which maybe I'll show you a bit that in a separate video. If you did them in Lightroom Classic, you can also apply them to Lightroom Desktop so that they're on your phone and on your iPad as well. With that said, cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye, everybody.